Good morning. So this morning we're off hiking and we are going to Sword Valley, Rose Valley, Red Valley. We've been told that if you come to Cappadocia, you have to go hiking to really embrace all the landscape and uh, this strange architecture that there is here. And we're joined by Murat and Ali, who are our guides for the day. We're Marianne and Chris. In May 2018, we quit the nine to five, rented our house to travel full time. Welcome to Turkey! Due to the pandemic, our attempt to drive around the world has been put on pause. Finding ourselves in Turkey, we are going to show you the best this country has to offer. And it's hot. It's hot already. What time is it? Nine o'clock? Hot. Nine o'clock and it's there hot. There you go. Wow, look at this view. What a landscape. So from here you can see this is the campsite that we're staying at and then Gorim town in the distance behind. And there's actually still people that live in the area in the in the caves which is amazing. What a wonderful view. So this valley that you can see here is called Sword Valley and uh, just to give you a sense of direction the open air museum that we went is just round the corner here. It's great having a local guide that can help you and tell you and give you information because we're learning so much. This became the centre of Christianity training here in Cappadocia because this life was conducive to suffering and that's why they chose here. And that's why there's so many churches in the rocks. So we got some of the grapes. We had the wine last night, the Cappadocia wine, and uh, they got some grapes growing here. And the, the grape vines are lowered down to the ground, uh, which apparently helps give them a more unique flavor. I've never seen rock formations like this anywhere in the world. And the way they were formed back in the day, hundreds of thousands of years ago, there was um, lots of lakes in this area and there was four main volcanoes that erupted and they covered the lakes in lava. As the lava started to harden, there was actually some earthquakes that split the lava and then as a result caused these really unusual structures. And when you look at the rocks, um, there are actually four different colors mixed in because each of the volcanoes had its own unique color. And then over the years, with the snow, the wind, the rain, over thousands of years, these rocks have been formed and shaped into these really unusual looking shapes. It definitely looks like a scene out of a fairy tale. To protect these structures, in 1980, the government actually set a ruling to stop and forbid anyone from damaging or trying to adjust or shape any of the structures. This site was awarded UNESCO World Heritage Site status in 1985 to protect it. So from the Neolithic era, 8,000 years ago, there have been over 10 different civilizations. You can see remnants of all the different cultures through the thousands of years just by walking around. So 
So Murat was explaining to us, when you look at the structures behind, you can see lots of little square holes and they were created for pigeons. And the pigeons would go inside and the pigeons were used for three main reasons. Firstly, for communication, uh, like a homing pigeon, they would send messages if invading forces were coming. Secondly, the um, white of the pigeon egg was used um, as a binding agent for the plaster um, as they built the churches and also the uh, the white the bugs didn't like it scorpions and spiders didn't like it so when it was mixed in with the plaster it act, acted as a natural bug repellent and thirdly they collected the manure for fertilizer amazing So we're just walking along and we found there's an entrance to an old church here and uh, it's just amazing that these structures are everywhere and there's you can see the old tombs like we saw in the museum and then coming through deeper into this uh, cave is the actual church you can still see some of the old paintings on the wall but can you imagine carving out all these pillars and uh, this ceiling it's an absolutely amazing place to walk around it's just crazy that they're just all here empty so walking around you can see underneath all these different rooms where they'd all be for different living different sitting areas sleeping areas and then looking up what an amazing and this is just one rock out of hundreds or thousands that are here so if you're wondering how they actually built the structure so high they actually tunnel from the inside so there's staircases inside and each level has its own defense where they can shut it off if they were under attack I genuinely feel like I'm on the set of a Star Wars movie. And it's just everywhere you go. Oh, look, there's a staircase. Oh, really? Yeah. Everywhere you go, look. It's all carved out, all these little cubby holes. Wow, look at this. Wow. We're going in. You can go in. We've gone up a level. And there's a window out there. So this is just like another room. This is bigger than Trudy. It's bigger than Trudy. And it's just crazy that it's just here. It's just in the wild and everybody could just walk and come in. It's so generous, isn't it, to have this open? Yeah. There's no entrance fees required. You just come and visit. And then that would, oh look, it's climbing. Hands there. Oh yeah, there's... Would they have climbed up there? Yeah, there's another room. We're walking through the canyon and we've come across a little small holding um, here. There's grapes and vineyard here, and then there's veggie patches and flowers. Look how lush it looks. It looks like an oasis in amongst all this dry, sandy rocks. Uh, Murat and Ali were saying that in olden days, there would be rivers down the valley over here, and they would collect water there and store it. We've just come across the sign that says Rose written on the wall. Um, so we're on our way to Rose Valley. As we're walking, you can see the rocks have started to change into this white rock. And uh, it really does feel like we're on the moon. They've got all modes of transport covered. You can do 
the quad biking, you can do the dune bugging, you can do horse riding, or scrambler motorbikes, I think they're called. We've just come up over the hill, and behind, this is Rose Valley. And you can see like the pinkish red rock. Check out this view. Woo! It's a little bit warm. But the higher you get, the better the view. Absolutely. Ooh. We started off down there. We walked all the way around. We're coming back up here. And then we're going down here through Rose Valley into Red Valley, round and then back to the campsite. So it's a lovely walk with the most amazing views. A lot of sun, put the sunscreen on and uh, always better to do it in the morning or late afternoon. Allergen's just pre um, picked some fresh apricots from the trees. Feel a little hard. Mm. Ah. Mom, they're delicious. They Look feel, at that. Oh. They're like these buildings, they're slightly hard on the outside, but they're soft and juicy on the inside. <laughs> but you have to, if you come to Cappadocia, hike some of these trails, because it's fascinatingly beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, some of the hiking areas are quite formidable. Um, so I would definitely come uh, with Mura and Allergen because honestly, they have you start gaining speed and they catch you at the bottom. Uh, oh, I'm done. So, it's, so it's really nice, but it's you've got to have quite a level of fitness and make sure you've got good hiking boots. <laughs> good hiking boots. Yeah. A much needed rest spot at the beginning of Rose Valley. We walked down into the valley and they've got this lovely little seating area that you can sit in. So this is the beginning of Rose Valley. Look at this stone here is amazing. Yep. We're just walking through this cave area and it's nice, nice and cool. Wow. It's strange the difference in temperature, isn't it? Just just temperatures. Didn't it's like it's, it's like a wind tunnel though, isn't it? The winds yeah. <laughs> the winds coming through. Wow. Look at this. It's just amazing. And we're going inside. Oh. Oh, it's very low. Can I stand? Yeah, just. Oh, it's a bit hot. Oh, there's a little rest spot, which is well needed, eh, love? I'm exhausted. Now how about <laughs> shade? Let's find the shade. Cheers. There you go. So we're stopping for an orange. Is it orange and grapefruit? Mm. Oh, that is just what the doctor ordered. That really is. Okay, so now we're going up into this building, and we just had a nice drink down there. Wow. Oh, it's a church. Frescoes. Look at that. The old church here. And you can see all the old paintings. And the cross on the ceiling. 
So inside here they've got the holes. This would have been where the pigeons came in originally with the big hole and this hollowed out chamber which was obviously at a later date turned into this wonderful church with all these little rooms going off. And just behind the pigeon area in this building there are little holes here in the seats. Asking Murat what these little holes were in the, in the seating area around the edge, I thought they might be for small bottoms, but apparently this is where the pigeons would have nested and laid their eggs, and also the fertiliser would have been collected here. Amazing! Is that amazing? Amazing! amazing. <laughs> what a fabulous fabulous four hour hike we have had today uh, but we're very grateful to Murat for arranging some transport to pick us up at the viewing point because it was a very hot day it's something that we would definitely recommend for people to do you should definitely come and see it and we're going to be bringing you a lot more of this area because it's so fascinating and there's so much to show there have been over 10 different civilizations. Is that right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to, if you come to Cappadocia, oh, Chris dropped his bottle. <clears throat> but if you see below the small holes, there's a bigger hole and that- Cut. Cut. <laughs> and a swing. Although it probably won't cope with my weight, I don't think. You want to have a swing, love? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you're still there. What are you doing in the floor? That's it. It's the end of the show. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more, make sure you click that subscribe button and that bell notification so you don't miss a video. And we will see you next time.